in Maryland could take action today on a new math policy for students across the state. In our Crisis in the Classroom coverage, Kelly Lynn is reviewing the policy and learning more about how it would be implemented. She is live for us in Kensington to explain. Kelly, good morning. Good morning to you. Today, the Maryland State Board of Education will be meeting in Annapolis to possibly adopt this new policy. Right now, though, I'm at Kensington Parkwood Elementary School. This is one of 1,400 schools in the state of Maryland that could be affected by a policy change with the math policy. It's known as the Pre-K to 12 Comprehensive Mathematics Policy. Its goal is to prepare students to apply math skills in the real world and to enhance their college and career readiness. I took a closer look at the 24 page document and learned it aligns with some of the goals of the blueprint for Maryland's future. Now the policy emphasizes equitable access to rigorous, relevant and high quality math for all students. I reached out to the director of mathematics for the Maryland State Department of Education. Lindsay Brightful tells me for the first time the proposal provides a statewide policy for math instruction. Other changes include accelerated learning, which would advance high performing students to work above their grade level starting in the third grade. High school students would also be able to access instruction integration. That means that core content and subjects like algebra, geometry and statistics would be combined. Now the Maryland State Education Association President Paul Limley tells me that this policy also calls for a minimum 60 minutes per day period of math instruction. He says that would apply to kindergarten through eighth grade students and he tells me right now teachers are primarily concerned about implementation. One thing that's really important is time for sure. We want to see educators have the time to learn this stuff, to plan and to to work with each other on it. And we want to see students have adequate time. I asked the Maryland State Department of Education if this policy is approved today, when would it take effect and how would it be implemented? I'll tell you how they answered those questions coming up in the next half hour. Live in Kensington, Kelly Lynn, 7 News.